Okay, so it's more geometry related. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, R is equal, the radius is equal to 50 and the distance between center points uh, would be 30. Uh, so this, the distance, so are they both the same size circle, Gina? Keep asking questions if you need. Same, same size circles. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so same size circles. Okay, so the radius is 50. So this is 50. And this is 50. 50. And the distance between uh, between between center points is 30. Uh, I should have overlapped them more. Because the distance here because if that's 50, that's not close enough. Let me erase it and draw it again. So, oh, sorry, I touched the mic. So we got a circle, okay. This is 50, right? Now, if the distance between the two circles is 30, so the other circle center will be here, okay? So I'm gonna erase this. So the other circle center is here. I'm gonna to try to make it around the same size. So it's like this. Is that crap? <laughs> Crappy circles, by the way. <laughs> Just for theory, the center both are in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's horrendous. Not to scale, not to scale. Yes, good. Okay, so this radius is 50. So we want to find the area here. Is that what we want to do? How do we find the area there? Let's think about this. Let's think about this. So the area of circles, both circles is going to be the same. So the area of the circles is going to be pi r squared of each circle, right? Yeah, I want to uh, be able to calculate it. How do we calculate the area of the, of the center? There's an easy way to do this. What's the trick of doing this? What's the trick of doing this? What's the trick of calculating the area here? Let me think about this. As your distance between the center points change, the area will change. Yeah, I'm thinking about coming up Pythagorean theorem. The, what I was thinking about doing is this. So let's assume the two circles are on top of each other and you move one of the circles in this direction. So what you're going to start getting is circles slowly moving away, right? And you're going to stop it when it reaches 30 here. So what's the best way of doing this? I hope it doesn't involve calculus, to tell you the truth. Prathanga, there's a line segment between the two intersection points that is critical. There's a line segment between the two intersection points that is critical. You're talking about here? Join centers with... Uh, cross points are we talking about going like this that would be a little wacko because that's 50 right hmm i'm looking at the screen right now trying to visualize it yeah that would be 50 so Good question, Gina. You can build a triangle that way for sure, but it's just going to be an approximation, right? Like, and if you can draw this, right? You got this thing going on. You got your diamond. You got a right angle triangles. For Pythagorean theorem, you have this thing, but.
you could give point points names so it's easier to communicate areas but this is going to involve will this involve calculus will this involve calculus is there a way to do it without calculus i think it might have to uh, uh, be an approximate it would have to be an approximation um, we can always look at it again next stream it's just something that's been mulling in my head yeah that's a good question i mean it's related to trigonometry that we want to do after this um what are the possibilities what are the possibilities I mean, the other possibility is finding out, eliminating this area. But how do you find the area there? You found the proof, but it's unclear. I think you, you might have to. Oh, let me take let me take a look at the proof, gang, just to see if it's going to make sense to me. Area of intersection between two circles. Label the center of the circle C and the center of the second circle C prime. Label one of the points of intersection of the two circles A and B. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, which is, they're not doing this. They're doing it, taking it all the way to the edge. Okay. area was shaded oh interesting interesting huh and then there's the integration version so for sure it would be that calculus, but I don't like the integration because we're not going to go there. The area was shadow. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Okay. Ah, so we need to find the angle. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. That's cool no no but wait a second that's not a circle because the radius would not be that no this is assuming that it's from the center of one circle to the center of the other no this is not the special case special case there's a proof for a special case but that's not it we would have to do this on another uh, on another stream we would have to i would have to look into this more uh, yeah unclear to me there's a special case there's one special case where he had it like Gina says the distance between the two centers is 30 right so here let me draw you what they had one of the one of the cases would be this right check this up so if you had a circle and you had and I should draw it better so center is here here's the other center and it goes like this is that better oh god my circles suck the, the kicker with this is when you're doing geometry geometry problems like this it's really important to try to get a nice perspective on your drawings because that makes it easier for your brain to be able to figure things out right so take a look at this thing oh god this is horrendous this is worse than the last one like seriously do I have a big circle something here I'm trying to draw it too big okay let's just do it this way let's assume it's this and this so one version was this got to run Graham go on without me awesome Graham thank you for finding the link Lark hello Chicho funny enough 
um, helping my niece with her math. Right on. So take a look. One version is this. All right. Figure out the angle here, right? And you can figure out the area here. Because if you can figure out that angle, whatever that theta is, right? The full circle, area of a full circle is pi r squared, right? That's the area of a full circle. Now, if this is 50, right? So this is the area of the full circle is gonna be pi 50 squared, right? 50 squared, right? So five squared is 25, you add two more zeros, you get that. So that's the area of the full circle for this right now whatever this angle is right the area of a full circle area full circle full circle is equal to two five zero zero pi that was over 360 degrees right that's your ratio conversion ratio so if you know this angle whatever this angle might be, you're going to go 2500 pi divided by 360 is going to be the area of the segment area over the angle. Okay, it's just proportionality, right? You can find the angle using trig as you have the triangle side length using the angles, then you use the angles to calculate the sector size add the sectors and take out the triangles yeah so you would figure that out right you would do the same here right take a look you would do the same here because that's the other thing so you would add them right and then remove this because this was being double counted that's actually very cool that's actually very cool, right? Good afternoon, good afternoon, Electric Shepherd, right? So the question is for us right now, what is this angle? If we know this angle, right, we can do this. So our main problem is to find out what that angle is. What is that angle? Let's check it out. If they're 30 meters apart, right? 30 meters apart, how do we find out that? 30 meters, oh, we can find that angle. Easy peasy, nice, let's do this. Excellent, excellent. So check this out. Let me draw and do another drawing. Watch this. Super cool question, Gina, super cool question. And thank you everyone for directing us on sunny, sunny leo 98 thank you and uh oh, did you get it <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna work it out right so cos a over 2 is equal to 50 over uh this so basically we want this triangle right so if we take this part the two things here let's let's do this draw it out here i'm just taking the top part of this right we know that this is 50 we know that this whole thing is 30. If we draw a straight line here, right? Then this distance here is 15, this part here, right? Let me draw that so you can see it better, right? So if the whole thing's 30, this part is 15, right? So we wanna find this angle. This is gonna be theta over two because theta was the whole thing, right? But let's just call it x here we'll just call it x let's call it or let's call it beta right so trigonometry says this is going to be cosine right so cos of beta is going to be 15 over 50 right so we would have to punch that in so this is 5 goes into this 3 times 5 goes into 10 times so this is cos beta is equal to 0 0.3 so beta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.3, right? Whatever that is, let's punch it in. I'm going to punch it in so we get a number, okay? 
So 0.3, and we're going to take inverse cos. So that gives us 72 point, approximately 72.5 degrees. So beta is equal to 72.5 degrees. You should actually use the exact number. Okay. So theta over here. So this part. This part is uh, two. The angle is two cos inverse of zero point three, which is going to be approximately two times seventy two point five. What was that number? Uh, five four two. So you should take it to ba ba ba, right? So multiply this by two you get times two we get 145.084 so we're just going to go to 145 degrees right so theta here is 145 degrees well if we know that now we can plug that into here right and find the area of this Okay, so if we want to find the area of that, it's going to be, this is a messy board, right? I should have drawn my circles here smaller and then work my way, but over here, let's bring this up here. We're going to get 2500 pi over 360 is equal to the area divided by 140 145 or 100, 145 145 right so the area is going to be 2500 pi over 360 times 145 right that's the area of one chunk the area of the other chunk which is going to be this part is going to be that times two because that's going to be the same amount so this is going to be times two and then what do we need to do we we need to remove the diamond the area of the diamond what's the area of the diamond the area of diamond is easy to calculate because all you need to do is calculate the area here and multiply it by four there's four of them so you do pythagorean theorem here <laughs> where are we going to do this so we can do Pythagorean theorem here. Let's do this here. Boop. Okay, that one there. Pythagorean theorem says 15 squared plus h squared is equal to 50 squared. So 15 squared is 200. Actually, let's just do this as the squares. So h, if you move your numbers around, is going to be the square root of 50 squared minus 15 squared. So H is going to be equal to, let's punch that in. Ha, I just laid down in bed to think about it. And you came out with the same. So awesome, Danite. Held a message. Can you teach me the math? <laughs> what happened to the thing? Okay, Danite took care of it. Thanks, Danite. Appreciate it. So this is going to be troll yeah perhaps the ballistic okay i'm gonna Boop. hey how do we ban the guy should we ban up to you danita up to you if you want to take care of it i would say ban hey it's not loading for me my little thing really I, my tolerance for messing around in math my tolerance for messing around in math <laughs> is very limited especially because i didn't get my 13 comics especially maybe maybe man i'm banning that's it i didn't get my 13 comics today why gross crop to Right, so 50 squared minus 15 squared. <laughs> 50 
50 squared minus 15 squared. Boop. And then you take the square root. 47 point, uh, 47.7. So the height is 47.7. 47.7. So the area of the triangle is one half base times height. Right? So it's going to be, let me erase this. It's going to be one half. 47.7 times 15 whatever that ends up being by the way i forget who your name was that would uh i ended up nuking you uh must crop too if you want to come back message me and we can talk about it okay uh, at a future uh stream so it's 47.7 times times 15 Oh, my pleasure, Gina. Now I'm curious. Divided by 2. Boop. So it's 357.75. And we're going to multiply it by 4. Times 4. 1,000. So the total area of the pyramid is 1431. Uh, 1431. One. And this minus 1431. And that should give you the area of that guy. It's going to be two because you have two segments. Yeah, we multiplied it by two here. So that segment times two minus the area of the diamond inside. I think that's, I think, I hope we did that right. I hope we did that right. Looks chaos, looks chaotic. But yeah, Graham was on the right track. Same with uh gave us the hint found us the link uh to see it and uh, uh sun in sun in leo 98 uh, helped us out a lot right so nice tag teaming this you could also use the angle to calculate the area of the triangles and end up with caught point three at the end rather than rounding up or down earlier on yeah agreed like I personally if I was doing this I wouldn't be punching in these numbers I would be using cos inverse of 0.3 right you want the exact values for as far as you can go right you don't want to round during the process all right I'm just doing that because I'm very limited and in general they might just want an approximate answer right i love it we'll definitely review the vod okay awesome gina i'm glad you brought up the question very cool and it's related to trigonometry should we ju uh, jump into trick let's jump into trick let's do trick hopefully i didn't make any brain fart mistakes here sometimes i end up doing that write down the wrong number or whatnot but uh, the process is there now uh cool question very cool question right very cool question um ba -da -da -da. yeah very cool question i like it okay let's erase this let's go to trick 